Hello everybody, this is my 2000 subscriber special Ultimate Among Us Tips and Tricks tutorial video. This video is a compilation of all the best Among Us tips and tricks my channel has to offer. The first half of the video is tips and tricks for imposter, and the second half is for crewmate. Before the video starts, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed to help me finally reach 2k. You've seriously made me a happy guy, so thank you. Now here's the video, hope you enjoy. In this tutorial, I'll go over all three maps and I'll show you exactly how sabotaging works. Each of the three Among Us maps have different layouts and different rooms. This means that there are different things to sabotage on each map, so it's best to learn what does what. To sabotage, all you need to do is click the sabotage icon in the bottom right of the screen. At first, the screen might appear to be a bit confusing, but it's actually very simple. Each of the icons, when pressed, will trigger a sabotage around the map. First, I'll show you what they all do and where to find them. Then I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to use them effectively. Firstly, O2 appears on the scaled and mirror HQ. When pressed, the crewmates will be under a time limit to get to the two terminals and to enter codes into those terminals. If they fail to do so, the oxygen will run out and the imposters will win. Comms is on all three maps. When pressed, the crewmates will lose their task list, task progress bar, access to cameras, vitals and logs until it's fixed in the comms room. Reactor meltdown appears on all three maps. When pressed, the crewmates will have a minute to run to the reactor and in sync press on two terminals. If they fail to do so, the reactor will melt down and the imposters will win. Lights are on all three maps. When lights are pressed, the crewmates will lose nearly all their vision while the imposter can see as normal. This will be the case until the lights are fixed and electrical. And finally, doors appear only on the scaled and polis. Doors will be forced closed around the area when the door icon has been triggered, which will potentially trap crewmates until they unlock the doors manually. But how do you use them effectively to win as the imposter? My first tip is that using a sabotage after having killed someone on the other side of the map can be very useful when trying to move the flow of players away from a body. For example, on the scaled, if you kill someone in navigation, if you then sabotage the reactor, which is on the far side of the map, it lengthens the time between when you got the kill and when the body will be found, which will reduce how suspicious people are of you. Lights can be used in the same way, to make it less likely a body will be found. This gives you time to buddy up with someone, so that you have a crewmate to vouch for you when it's eventually found. My second major sabotage tip is that if you see the cameras are red, then someone is watching you. You can stop the cameras working by disabling comms. The same goes for if you see someone on the vitals. Disabling comms in that scenario would take care of any eyes potentially watching you, which could lead to proof against you. An incredibly important tip I'll give you is to use oxygen in combination with doors. Because oxygen will win you the game if you let it expire. Using doors to trap people from fixing it can easily get you a win. If you know everyone is far away from oxygen, run to one of the terminals, then sabotage the doors and oxygen. The odds of them getting to you are quite low. By the time they do, all you need to do is kill whoever gets there and you win. The final sabotaging tip I will give you is to not kill while a sabotage is active, as usually everyone groups up to fix the sabotage, which will leave you as the odd one out as you are the only person to not be fixing, which will definitely get people to vote for you. Firstly, I'll go into how vents function differently on different maps. Vents are accessible on all the maps in Among Us. On Polis, the vents are very restricted in terms of venting options. Some vents only go from one vent to another, which is quite useless. Whereas on Mirror HQ, the vents are all interconnected, so you can teleport around the map at your own free will. Want to go from spawn to electrical? Easy. The scaled is more of a middle ground of the two. It has a lot of useful venting options, but like Polis, a lot of the vents aren't connected to one another. The vents on the right side of the map, on the scaled, aren't connected to the vents on the left side of the map. So that's how vents work differently on each map. Now, what's the best way to use vents to get you the imposter win? Well, if we take venting on the scaled for example, most people when they vent about are like this guy venting from security to electrical. This is incredibly obvious, do not be like this guy. There is a far better 1000 IQ way of using vents. Use the vents in combination with lights to trick people into thinking you are with them while you are secretly vent killing, so that when the body is found it can't be you. Here's an example of what I mean. Let's say you're in the reactor with a crewmate on Mirror HQ. What you should do is turn off the lights, wait a second, then hop in the reactor vent under the cover of the lights. Vent to electrical, kill the first person there, vent back, then act like you and the crewmate were hanging out in the reactor the whole time. This genuinely works so much, it's incredible. Not only do you secure a kill, but you also have a strong ally to vouch for you later in the game. Another location where I found this has worked flawlessly is on the scaled in the admin room. What you can do is chill on the admin table to act the detective role. You can then hit the lights, then vent to the navigation corridor, secure a kill, then vent back. When asked where you were, people will vouch for you that you were in the admin room the whole time. So in summary to my first vent tip, find a friend, hit the lights, vent kill, and act like nothing ever happened. Now onto my next tip. When playing on Mirror HQ, it can be very easy to mess up while venting. There are three sections to Mirror HQ, cafeteria, spawn, and admin. If you vent from one section to another, then pass through the Y intersection. If anyone checks the logs, you'll be caught. Those of you who've seen my video on logs know how easy it is to catch someone venting on Mirror HQ. 
So to avoid getting caught, if you vent to another section, kill, but then vent back, then walk around. This way you won't get caught by the logs. Here's a prime example of how you can get caught venting in Mirror HQ. In this clip, Issa and I use our map knowledge to see Blue vent. He runs down to spawn, yet when we get there, he's mysteriously gone. Hey Marcus, are we on the same wavelength? I think we're on the same wavelength. Blue, where are you? I'm currently an admin. So when you went down to the bottom left to spawn, mm -hmm. how did you get past me and Marcus without us seeing you? Yeah, that's really odd. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure people won't notice that you've suddenly vanished. Keep track of who's around you. I only personally use vents if I absolutely must to get away from a crime scene or if the lights are off just to be safe. First, it's important to point out that the admin table appears on all the maps in the game. The Scaled, Mirror HQ, and Polis. However, in my opinion, the map where it's most useful is the Scaled. Why is that? Well, because it's incredibly easy to see when someone uses a vent. The admin table presents a live feed which shows how many people are in every room on the map. Therefore, it doesn't show the locations of people between rooms, for example in corridors or outside on Polis. On the Scaled, the map is shaped almost like a circle, with only one way to get around. It also has rooms on the outer most corners such as the engine rooms, weapons and shields. Therefore, if you see someone instantly move from the med bay to security or from security to electrical without first passing through the engine rooms, then they vented. In the clip you're watching right now, you can see someone vent from security to electrical, kill the person there, then vent back to security. I then press the emergency button and asked who was in security just now. The imposter unwittingly confesses to the murder and we win the game. It's my honest opinion that the admin table is the most useful tool for crewmates in Among Us. The fact that you can see where people are all around the map live is amazingly strong. Now here's some incredibly useful tips for when you're using the admin table. On the scaled and mirror HQ, in the admin room, there are vents. If there are only two of you in the admin room, yet on the table it says there are three, it's because there's someone in the vent watching you. This happened to me in a stream of mine. It was absolutely terrifying knowing that they could pop up at any moment and murder me. The fact that you can see where everyone is on the map all at once helps you to narrow down the suspects. If you know there are two people on the left of the map and one of them is in the reactor and the other one just vented to security, you can ask broadly who was on the left side of the map and the two people will say where they were. If you then ask who was in reactor, you know the odd one out is the imposter. You can even use the admin table to your advantage as the imposter. You can use it to determine where to find lone stragglers away from the group for you to kill. Firstly, if you didn't already know, vitals only appear on one of the three maps, Polis. I'll very quickly show you how to get to vitals from spawn. So once you've spawned in on Polis, all you have to do is head downwards to the right and then down again and further to the right towards the lava and then here we go. So this here is the vital screen. So how does it work? Well the vitals give you a live feed telling you who's alive and who's dead. When someone dies, they'll go red, and it'll say dead on the screen. If they died in the previous round, it'll say DC'd. So how do you use the vital screen to catch out the imposters? Well, through the process of elimination. What you can do is toggle on and off the vital screen to see who's running around near you. If you then see someone die on the screen, you will know for sure whoever's near you is innocent, which hopefully narrows down any suspects. Fortunately, the emergency button is located right next to the vitals room, so if you see there are any people dead, you can conveniently go and press the button. Doing this of course will remove the bodies, which makes it harder to narrow it down, so make sure you have some proof. One of the most interesting ways you can use the vitals is that if you see someone die on the screen, then someone immediately reports the body, you can be very sure that whoever reports the body probably self-reported. Now, if you're the imposter and you know someone's watching the vitals like a hawk, what can you do? Well, conveniently, when you sabotage the comms, the vitals get disabled, which forces the crewmate to go fix it. This gives you a window of opportunity to kill someone without the vitals watching your every move. Another way to deal with someone watching the vitals is obviously just to kill them. I sometimes find that turning off the lights, then doing a drive-by, then venting often takes care of the problem. After you've done that however, it's important to find a crewmate to buddy up with to vouch for you so that when everyone has their alibis, you're not the odd one out. My final tip is, don't stay on vitals the whole game. Remember, as a crewmate, you do still need to do your tasks, so it's probably best to finish them first before sitting on vitals for the rest of the game. Unless of course, you're hellbent on being a detective and voting out the imposter rather than winning with tasks, which is also respectable. Hello everybody, this is a guide on how to read the logs on Mirror HQ in Among Us. First, I'll show you how to read the logs, and then I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to catch the imposters with the logs. Here we go. If you didn't already know, logs only appear on the map Mirror HQ. It's incredibly important to know how to use them, because on Mirror HQ, you don't have access to cameras or vitals. I'll very quickly show you where to find the logs terminal. Once you spawned in on Mirror HQ, all you have to do is head down and to the right, head up past the med bay, and here's the comms room. 
in the comms room on this computer is the door log. If you click on the bottom right of your screen where it says door log, you'll open the logs. Once you've gotten the screen up, you might be a bit overwhelmed at first. Don't worry, it's actually incredibly simple. Mirror HQ has three main areas, reactor and spawn in the bottom left, cafeteria in the bottom right, and finally electrical and admin in the top. These three sections are split off from one another through a Y-shaped corridor intersection, which is the only way to travel between each area. There are three sensors placed at the entrance to each area, which when walked over, send the signal to the logs terminal. The bottom left sensor is called the southwest, the bottom right is called the southeast, and the top sensor is called north. You can use this information to see when and in which section someone traveled to or from. It's important to note that the signals at the bottom of the screen are more recent than the signals at the top of the screen. So for example, if further up it says blue past the southeast sensor, then further down the screen it says blue past the north sensor, that indicates he ran from the bottom right to the top. Okay, so the logs tell you where people go. How does this help you catch the imposters? Well, you can use them at face value to see who was together in a certain area. Let's say you figure out blue and yellow both went past the southeast sensor to cafeteria, and now suddenly blue is dead. Well, you can put two and two together to figure out yellow did it. That method is effective, but there is a 300 IQ other way of using the logs. Let's say someone runs from cafeteria through the southeast sensor, and then by the north sensor to get to admin. Then they trigger the southeast sensor or the southwest sensor without first passing through the north you can be sure that they vented. This happens a lot on Mirror HQ, as there's a lot of vents with a lot of options for the imposters, so keep your eye out. A great tip is to stand in the center of the Y intersection and to keep track of where people are. If you see someone move from one section to another without first passing you, they vented. If you are unsure, you can just check the logs to be certain. 